Hey everyone, if you've been watching my videos you'd see I've been building a couple of pedals, uh, a couple of germanium boosters. Uh, I've just built a small run of these, um, I'm only be, I'll only be building four and one of those is for myself so there's only three that I'll actually be selling. Uh, it's based on the Rangemaster using a germanium transistor um, as a booster. And um, I'll just go over a few of the features and in a different video I'll do a demo of the actual pedal. So basically the control is pretty straightforward. You've got a tone switch and a volume knob and the tone switch in the middle setting is treble and when you push it up it's uh, mid and when you push it down it's, it's bass. So uh, yeah, I found it quite useful when you're changing the um, uh, between you know bridge pickup and um, neck pickup. Uh, changing this as well, uh, it um, comes in handy. It basically, just lets uh, just controls how much bass goes into the into the booster and gets boosted. And then you've just got uh, the amount of boost on this side. And um, the more you turn it up, the more uh, the germanium clips. It clips a bit, not a huge amount, but it does clip a bit. I'll show you that in the um, in the sound demo. So it's true bypass, um, as you'd expect. I've used the JCAR LED bezels. I just find that they are. Um, even though they're 10 times the cost, they're 10 times better than the Tadar ones. I don't think I'll be using those ever. Uh, and the um, switch is a switch craft, um, sorry, the jacks are switch craft, which um, are pretty much the bee's knees of, um, of jacks. And uh, yeah, I've found personal experience that they're just, uh, they're just a lot better than what I'm used to as well. They're just, they're great. Um, just with the power too, there's a lot of clones on the internet that don't have um, positive barrel jacks, 99.9% .9 of pedals that were made after the 70s were made with positive barrel because they're negative ground circuits. The Range Master is a positive ground circuit. My Range Master is also a positive ground circuit except I've used a charge pump to flip the power over so you can still connect this to your boss pedals um, and large majority of every other pedal that you've got. Um, you don't need to run a separate DC jack to it um, or use a battery which to me personally I find both of those options um, to be a little bit of an inconvenience. Um, so if you're in the market for a range master just make sure that if they say that it's got that it needs positive tip then you'll need to get your own DC jack um, uh, specifically for that pedal uh, because if you connect um, it, if, you can, if you connect it with your other boss pedals, you're going to damage something because you're connecting positive on one to negative on the other, if that makes sense. You don't need to worry about any of that with mine because it's got the, um, it's got the charge pump on it that flips the power over anyway. The powder coating job is okay. Uh, I've said in some of my other videos I'm still trying to refine the process, so uh, don't expect perfection, but um, uh, it's the best that I can do. and um, It's powder coating, so it's pretty durable. I'll just open it up now and show you what's on the inside. So that's the inside of the pedal. Um, this is the uh, germanium transistor. It's a Russian UFO GT germanium transistor. And again, if you're in the market for a, for a, germani for a germanium booster or a range master, uh, a lot of them say uses an OC transistor. And basically, it's pretty much um, whatever OC, transist OC germanium transistor that they can get that's not expensive. I think that if you're pretty much just going to use any OC transistor, then you might as well just go for a good quality transistor, low leakage. Um, all the all of these um, UFO germanium transistors that uh, I've tested have been low leakage, so you know, I don't really see um, the point of using an OC. Maybe to try and keep it to make it look as authentic as possible, but um, yeah, these are good. These are good. These are good quality um, transistors anyway. And I haven't gone for Mojo components. I've, I, I personally believe that the um, that the convenience of the Max and some of the other features that I've incorporated on the um, PCB are more important than how interesting the inside of the pedal looks. Because, I mean, like, as a pedal builder, I think they look cool, um, but you're not going to see it very often. Uh, pretty much only when you change the battery, you can look inside and gaze at it and say, oh, wow, that looks great. And then you put the lid back on, you never see it again. Personally, I think the convenience of the um, DC jack is more important than the... Um, than the, uh, uh, the Mojo components as they call it. And obviously you can use a battery as well if you need to use a battery too. You can see the clip there. And just a couple other things with the components I forgot to mention. The toggle switch is um, the good quality type toggle switch, not the ones from FutureLec. The pot is alpha. 
the knob is from Jcar and it's probably the best heaviest tactile knob that I can find um, yeah and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna do a sound demo now and um, uh, in a different video and um, show you what it sounds like and I find it's quite a versatile pedal so you're gonna hear a few different um, uh, a few different uses for it uh, probably I'll probably do something like boosting another guitar pedal like a tube screamer with it boosting my guitar amp with it uh, the, the distortion on my guitar amp with it um, using it as a clean boost and using it as a dirty boost because it pretty much does all those things I find it a lot more versatile than a super hard on anyway so um, yeah I'll, I'll do the demo next and um, and yeah see what you think thanks for watching